All right, all right. Hello, everybody. Since I haven't gotten around to watching a full episode of Only Fools and Horses yet, because I do want to, I haven't had the time yet, I found this suggestion. It's apparently quite a standalone uh, scene. We got Uncle Albert, a girl. Basically, I am understanding the context of Del asks Uncle Albert to act shocked about a girl because Rodney is going to make a mistake with some other girl, something like that. But, yes, I, I, I have, I'm in context. And apparently this, this scene totally works alone. So let's just, you know, dive right in. I like Only Fools and Horses. And I would love to watch full episodes from beginning to end and all that. But I have so many things on my list and so much on my plate and, and so many things to do even outside of, you know, my channel and reactions and everything. <sighs> it's, it's on my list, but right now we're just, you know, going with clips. Have you seen my slippers, Raquel? You're wearing them, Albert. <laughs> What's wrong with Rodney? Slamming drawers, banging things around in I there? I think he's still upset about him and Cassandra. I try to give him a few words of encouragement, but nothing seems to work. At least you're trying. Yeah. Where is, he? Where is that idiot? He, he's getting dressed. You all right, love? Yeah, I'm all right, sweetheart. I'm just suffering from a bit of the old uh, executive burnout, you know? <laughs> Come on. Murder a drink. Go on, sit down, I'll do it. Mm. Oh, all right. Thank you, darling. <clears throat> I'll talk to you in private. Yeah, all right, girl. What about her? Don't worry about her, I'll think of something. Well, a brandy, Duda. Oh, yes, Kushti. Uh, no, second thoughts, I'll tell you what. I'd like a nice mug of decaffeinated coffee made in the percolator. Well, that takes ages. Yes, I know, but it's much healthier, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, all right then. Do you want a coffee, Albert? Oh, I'll have that brandy, same wasting it. <laughs> What do you want to talk about, then? Well, first, I'd like to find out how my bottle of Cavossier manages to pour itself. <laughs> well, that can wait. We've got more important things to discuss. I've just had a word with a mechanic from the Peckham Exhaust Centre. Rodney took the van down there this morning. Now, apparently, there's a new receptionist working there by the name of Tanya. And Rodney, the dipstick, has only asked it out on a date. <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> I wish I was, Uncle. I wish I was. I'm disgusted with him. What's this Tanya girl look like? Well, I wouldn't say no. <laughs> what I mean is that she's attractive enough and she's a nice enough girl, but it's not the point, is it? Right. If Rodney gets seen with this Tanya sort, then, well, it's going to break Cassandra's heart and then Rodney's going to find himself with the sack. Yeah. And Alan won't do you any more of that cheap printing you flocked all your mates. No. <laughs> I, that has got absolutely nothing to do with it. But you says that was the only money we got coming into the flat. Yet yeah, my only concern is for Cassandra and Rodney's future happiness. Of course. <clears throat> Mind you, that printing did bring in a few bob. I'm up to <laughs> <laughs> I've got to think of a way in which I can put Rodney off this bird. So, so what are you telling me for? I don't know. Was hoping you might come up with an idea. Then again, I was hoping that Millwall would win the UEFA Cup. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I've got it. I've got an idea. Now, listen to me. When Rodney tells us about this date with this bird, right, you and me have got to look absolutely horrified. See, as though it goes against the whole of the Trotter family's moral code. Nah, you never caught with that. Yes, he will. He will. You don't know him like I do. He'll go for that hook line. At... That's it. That's it. It's him. He's coming. Now, don't forget, you've got to look horrified, right? Oh, yeah. As though you've seen a U-boat off the starboard bow. <laughs> a what? Off the what? As though you've seen a U-boat off the starboard bow. Not a deer. Mm. Not a deer. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's the matter with him? <laughs> oh, no, he's, I don't know. He's been at the brandy look. Percolator's bubbling. Fancy a coffee, Rodney? No, no, thanks, Raquel. I'm going out. <gasps> no! No! Well, here we go, Rodney. Anywhere nice? Going out with pictures. Oh, well, that's it, Rodney. That's it. Your marriage is going down a swanny, and you bugger off to the flicks. Very good. Why don't you just butt out there? All right. Just as you, as you like, bruv. Just as you like. 
Going on your own? No. Going with someone? <gasps> You won in a minute, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you taking? Cassandra? Oh, hmm. not Cassandra. Now that they did a close-up on this woman's face and I can see her, you know, through the pixels, she totally looks like Katherine Heigl? Hagel? Or something like that. The, the, the lady that did like a bajillion rom-coms and we're all the same. But she looks like a, an, a, an antiquier version of her. Who are you taking? Cassandra? Oh, well, Sandra. technically, Katherine Heigl would look like a modern version of this woman. Sorry. All right. Who are you taking? Cassandra? No, oh, not Cassandra. It's a girl. A girl? A girl? <laughs> I wanted to hear what was wrong with that. I wanted the scene to go on. Dang, and it even says full scene. I wanted a little bit more. But, uh, damn. Okay. It was like, it was, it was... You could kind of see it coming because, you know, of the context of stuff. But it's still funny. that, And the first second i saw the older gentleman i just you know what comes to mind santa claus <laughs> so you know this is gonna be like jolly good fun right um but yeah i i understand i gotta watch full episodes because that totally left me wanting to see more and see what happens and see you know if cassandra ever finds out does he ever go you know on the date with the tanya woman or whatever i want to know so damn all right, I'll do it. I'll watch, I'll watch full episodes at some point. But um, I don't know. I was asked to do this one, and, and apparently uh, it, is, it stood alone pretty well. So there you go. But fun. I <sighs> Man, you guys have such good freaking comedy, man. <laughs> it's all just so much fun. Um, so anyway, yes, yes. I, I can smell the comments already saying, I got to watch full episodes for the context and et cetera. But um, one day I will. Mark my words, people. But still, still fun to watch. Anyway, like, if uh, I'm one step closer to watching full episodes after this because I genuinely want to know what's up. So there you go. Um, whatever you have to do, have a great one. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you're enjoying your lives and your days and just everything in general. So I will be off, but I will be watching things, looking for more things to watch and, and you know, going through recommendations and suggestions in my very long list. Um, of recommendations but you know we'll get around eventually like there has to be a point in my life where I got around to everything right so we're, we're working on it anyway guys toodles and have a great one